This is a demonstration of how to load ArduPilot onto a Bebop 2. First thing to do is turn on the Bebop. Then inside the network connections, you should see a Bebop 2 has appeared. Press connect. Then over here on firmware.ardupilot.org, you can select Copter, Latest, Bebop Quad, and then, then download ardupopter-quad. I'm going to save it here to my desktop. Then over on the Mission Planners Install Firmware page, select Load Custom Firmware and select the firmware that you just downloaded. Then when it asks, is this a Linux board? Say yes. Is this a Bebop 2? Yes. Trying to connect to the Bebop. Please press Bebop power button four times. Then press OK. Uploading software. Rebooting. Firmware installed. Then I can reconnect on the network here. Select Bebop 2 again. Then over on Mission Planner, select UDP. Press connect. Set the local port to 14550, which is the default. There we are. Now it's connected. I can move the vehicle around. See it moving around on the HUD. Now, to get all the parameters set properly, I'm going to go to Config Tuning, Full Parameter Tree. Then on the right hand side here, I'm going to select Parrot Bebop 2 and press Load Pre Saved. Then it's got a list of all of the parameters it's going to update. So I'm just going to update those, all of those. Press right parameters. There we are. Now I may need to reboot it, but uh, basically it's working now. I fly with the Bebop, I use this uh, Logitech F310 gamepad. So over on the mission planner, I go to the actions tab and select joystick. The joystick appears here and I can enable it. There's a wiki page uh, which shows how to do the setup, but uh, basically you move the controllers around, you move the sticks around, and you should see these green bars change. You can also set up buttons to set the flight mode. So for example, this button sets it to stabilize mode. This one sets it to loiter, that kind of thing. So that's it.